hello everyone welcome back to our channel thank you for always stopping by in today's video i want to talk about a powerful mixture you should sprinkle in front of your house by your window side and by the four corners of your house to send the way negative energies spiritual attacks witchcraft attacks negative forces that prevent good things from entering your home negative forces that bring disunity in the home when you do this, peace will be in your home, prosperity will be in your home, happiness will be in your home, and witchcraft, witches and wizards will run away from your home. So you have to stay tuned as I unleash this powerful mixture and how you can sprinkle it at the right time to do this. But in case you're seeing my face for the first time or you're tuning in for the first time, you're highly welcome. Kindly hit the red right subscribe button to make yourself a full member of this family like my videos share my videos and if you're a returning subscriber thank you i really appreciate keep supporting the channel by liking my videos and sharing my videos don't forget to follow me on facebook at solution empire on tiktok solution empire 01 on youtube at solution empire my second channel is solution empire tv follow me on these social media handles so you learn everything you need to know on spiritualism health and beauty so i want to talk about this powerful mixture that you need to sprinkle in your house and why you should do that most of us are battling with disunity in our various homes some people will tell you that it's an ancestral thing that their parents did not live in peace so they don't believe they believe that that is what is making their own marriage not to work out some will tell you that their father married 10 wives and that uh, that is why she's they are crying in their marriages or that is why the husband married another wife when your husband's faith does not uh, know, permit him to marry more than one wife, if he's a Muslim or a traditional worship, he's, he's free to marry any the number of wives you have or you want to marry. But as a Christian, you are permitted to marry one wife. So when you see your husband going for a second wife, it's an error that must be corrected. Even if the forefathers have been doing it, let it be in your own time that it will not happen. I've never seen a happy polygamous family. I've never seen. If you have seen, please let me know under the comment section. You may be happy when you are young, but in time to come, you see yourself fighting on daily basis. You have never seen a very comfortable, happy polygamous family because one person must be evil that will make the pollute the whole family that make everybody to start fighting themselves. When you see your uh, your stepbrother do something you want to know why he did that before you know it you start doing all manner of things so these are things you should prevent from your home some people will tell me that their husband have many girlfriends for what and when you see the women complaining about their husband cheating on them they are very pretty when i mean pretty you'll be wondering what the man will see in another woman that will move him this is an error that must be corrected we need peace in our home where there is peace, there is progress, there is unity. Some people, things don't work out for them in their families as a result of negative forces around them. There are so many things that happens in a family that can prevent good things from happening. When you take, for instance, when you're not in good things with your partner, that is not how you progress. Because if you see an opportunity for your partner, you will not let him know or you will not let her know because you're not in good terms with him or her. Likewise, the children, when you're not happy with your brother, if you see an opportunity, you will not let him know. You feel that he'll be richer than you tomorrow if you give him that opportunity. So prevention, they say, is better than cure. Let us learn to prevent things before they get out of hand. When you do this recipe, things will start working well for you. If you're the type that struggles to eat in your family, you see things you start taking shapes. Things will start working well for your family. You will start making money to take care of yourself. Your business will start prospering. Your children will start doing well in school. Your children will not be falling sick all the time. There are some people, their own money goes to the hospital every time their children are sick or them themselves, they are sick. So when you do all these things, things that steal people's money, happiness will not come to your home. If your child is always sick, there is no how you'll be happy. Because every time you're thinking of the hospital to go, how much you're going to spend, where you're going to borrow money, things like that can make that can cause divorce in a family. It can make the man to run away from that house. 
So the ones that don't know God, it can make them to run away. So what do you do to prevent things that can scatter your home? Be it poverty, sickness, hatred, fights. That is why I'm here today, to show you what you should do. The first thing you need to get for me, get a mortar like this. You can see this is a plastic mortar. For those that would tell me they cannot get the wooden mortar. Okay? Yes, you get there. Is, there are ones that are bigger than this. You can get them. Even if you're outside the, outside the country, you can order this one. Get it. Have, let it be in your house. There are some spiritual works that requires mortar. Okay? So when you get you can see the pistol. So when you get it, you get your camphor. This is my camphor or mouth, uh, mouth balls. Is it mouth balls? Mouth balls. Okay, the ones you put in the toilet or in your wardrobe. Okay, this is the one you need for this recipe. You are going to add it to this mortar, enough quantity, depending on how big your house is. Then you get your clothes. I've made so many videos on clothes. And people will still ask me, what can I do with clothes? How do I know clothes? I remember... Apart from this evil spirit, sometimes this evil spirit comes like ants. They come in form of rats to just to torment your family. So when you sprinkle this around, those evil ants that comes to monitor you, what get cause the enemies use it to monitor the peace and the serenity of your house. They will run away. Rats, they will run away. Because sometimes the enemies use those uh, uh, animals or insects to fight you without your knowledge. You come to a place, you keep money, you see ants will gather there. You come to a place where you sleep, you see ants will gather there. These are evil signs. So when you sprinkle these around your house, those ants will run away. And those monastery spirits, evil spirits will run away. The forces there will no longer permit them to operate in your home. Okay? The power of this recipe will not let them operate comfortably in your home. What would they do? They will run. So when you get your clothes, these are my clothes, get enough quantity of clothes, Put it in your mortar, get your camphor or your mouth, uh, mouth balls, put it here and pound. Pound it very well, let it be in powdered form. After pounding, you take it and sprinkle by your window. You say any forces that come through the window will no longer have access to my house. Anyone you sprinkle from your door, anyone that comes through the door will no longer access. Anyone that comes through the wall, you take it through. Run the four corners of your all your rooms. Anyone that comes through the doors, uh, the walls, will no longer have access. Will no longer have access to me and my family. Every evil ant that comes through the wall, that comes through the holes of this house, will no longer have access to our home. After sprinkling it, you leave it there. Okay. If well, maybe you just do it in a way that it will not be visible. If it's something that people will see. You sweep it out in the night to do it. In the morning, you sweep it out. But if it will be too stressful for me, I leave my own. If you come to my house and say it is your building, you know my house is a spiritual home. So anything you see, you take. So I sprinkle them on the four corners of my room. In my living room, my children's room. So I, in, my, in my parlor, I sprinkle it just in front of my door. So that anybody with negative energies, as you're entering my house, it will, just, it will, it will not even feel comfortable. So that one in my parlor... I put it in just in front of my door and by the window, but in all the rooms, I know nobody enters my room. I sprinkle it around the four corners of my room. When you do this, you have a peaceful sleep if you're the type that don't sleep well. If you're the child, the type your children cries at odd hours, they will not be crying by that time. Evil spirits will run away completely from your home. You will see love and unity will turn back into your home. Do this simple spiritual assignment and make sure you come back with your testimony. You can share it under the comment section or on my WhatsApp number. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching and see you in my next one. Bye-bye.